Good afternoon once again, uh, Swagbuck, uh, Swagbucks Nation, sorry I've just put that up there just for a second, I don't know why, but okay. It's Evil Scotsman again, and I thought uh, it was about time to uh, get this video done while I'm, uh, while I'm still awake and uh, actually kind of wired. Too much coffee, as you know I got up early this morning. Unfortunately there's been a couple of comments by... Uh, our good friend there that have been uh, flagged, uh, thank you very much Flag Squad, and of course, yes, I wrote a, a comment about the uh, the Flag Squad, and it? Yep, it gets flagged itself, I've got to love that. Anyway, this video is about, um, what I asked you, I said, is there any thoughts and ideas that you would like me to go over? Uh, let's start then with when to shop. Um, you asked about the tasks. Now, I don't normally do the tasks because, yes, you are correct, they are very, very confusing. Um, I did actually do one earlier and, to be honest with you, I thought it was a lot of garbage. Um, things like this, like for 0 0.4 swag bucks for doing one thing. Um, there's other ones that are like worth six and whatnot. The problem that you get with the tasks is that you have to earn, you have to get all the way up to 20 swag bucks before it pays out. Some of them seem easy enough. Um, let's see this other one for 0 0.40 swag bucks for doing it. It's a crowdflow thing. You actually see I'm at 0 0.4 and you need to bank 20 before you can actually get out. Um, feedback on websites meta description. Um, just follow the steps, search the term, then provide your feedback on a listing. Open a fresh search window by clicking here. Okay, I've done that. Um, use the link to open the search engine. It may take a few seconds. Search the phrase Belsum Hill Tree Company. Oh. Uh, oh, should say Balsam Hill Tree Company. So type it in Balsam Hill Tree company. Okay, I did that. Locate the result that looks like Belsham Hill, uh, Barlingham, California, Home Decor, Facebook. Okay. Answer the first three questions below about the listing. Click that listing under the logo, locate the link about and click that. Locate the link about and click that. It's a Facebook link. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, oops. Let's go back. What position was that search result in? E.g. 1, 2, 3, or 4. See, now this is where, you know, it does kind of get confusing. It was actually under... It was in position 2. What was the text description in black under the that searches listing? Um, okay, so let's just go there, copy that by right clicking, clicking copy and click paste um, is this description a good match for the search term? I, I don't know, see for me personally Next to found it. Uh, August two thousand and six. Okay. Copy. 
copy paste click verify okay and click submit they do seem easy enough but there you go I'm now up to 0 0.8 is it really worth it no not really um, you have to do so many to get all the way up to 20 and then after each one you go to tasks again and so on and so forth but from what I understand and from what I've heard people say and even the ones that I've done myself I've given what I thought was the answer or spent so much time trying to do it just for a couple of measly swag bucks and it said sorry you got the wrong answer and it's like what do you mean I got the wrong answer it was what they're telling you to look for like um, did you find uh, this um, thing that was titled su such and such and I've went through like 10 pages and not found anything whatsoever so generally the tasks I tend to leave them because like I said you have to get all the way up to 20 and then it will I will actually pay out 20 because I did do it one time where I did get all the way up to 20 it was over a long period of time and eventually it did pay out when I got up to 20 but you have to get all the way up to 20 I'm not the authority on tasks but maybe some other people will respond to this and say no tasks are like really easy there used to be casino tasks or something that used to be um, worth a uh, pretty good and not too bad um, help us find search engine ranking for three keywords um, those ones might be worthwhile I don't know I'm not gonna really bother doing them because like I said I never really do the tasks so anyway let's go on to what else I am um, being asked oh yeah everyone's asking where can you find the videos you can quite simply find them on YouTube just go to YouTube you can type in my name and it will bring you up to my videos and yes you can see yes that is me with Kimmy um, that's me making my yummy breakfast uh, my birthday hat for the um, the fifth birthday and when I received this swag bag uh, which I won in one of the competitions on Swagbox which was really 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 fun um, so yeah you just do that you can uh, either click that you can just click on the channel and it will bring up all five of or well all eight of the videos that I have right now um, this is actually bringing you to my own page but it won't bring you it should bring you to uh, just the, the videos and whatnot um, thank you thank you thank you oh yeah there was something that was brought up um, I have actually seen um, people are always going on about clearing your cash well how do you do that well it's actually quite simple on Firefox you go to history clear recent history I normally clear everything you can clear everything from the last hour, the last two hours, four hours, just everything from today or everything in total. Your cache is your browsing and download history, your form and search history, cookies, cache, active logins, offline website data and site preferences. The problem with doing that is it will log you out of absolutely everywhere. It's going to clear absolutely everything so when you do that you will probably have to log back into Swagbox, uh, log back into uh, Facebook, log back into this that and the next thing that is how you would do it on Firefox um, Google Chrome is pretty much the same you click 
on here. Um, doo -doo -doo, this little bar over here. Uh, I think you click settings. Um, yep, you click settings, click history, and clear browsing data, and it will clear absolutely everything for you in Chrome. Let's see if there is like do do do. Fine print tools. You can also go to tools and just click the clear browsing data from there too. Um, Internet Explorer can be done a couple of different ways. One way is to clear to click the uh, the window sign. Go to your control panel. Click network and internet and on the internet options delete browsing history and cookies there you can see I actually have it set to Google because like I said I don't really use it that often but you will find it under doo -doo -doo, it's not connections not programs it's not even under advanced uh, yeah it's under general you just click delete um, you can actually delete it on exit, uh, but you would click delete and then check which boxes you wanted and click delete. Um, while I'm also here, uh, one thing that I do always remember, all programs, click on accessories. Um, where is it? Go down to in your accessories to system tools and there is a little thing called disk cleanup you click that it brings you to this it will actually clean up uh, your your C drive and get rid of some unwanted uh, files just clears up a little bit of room and it's a nice little handy tool to have. There are actually uh, programs out there that you can buy that uh, will do that for you even though it comes standard on a Windows computer but some people do not know excuse me about that anyway um, was there anything else to do, do, do I know in the, I thought in the games thing let me just have a quick look I thought I saw something in there. Um, I'll read your thing later. Don't worry about it. Um, oh yeah, the, the, there has been a little bit of discussion while I'm here and while I'm thinking about it. See, this is where I'm. I'm things come to me and they go to me. Um, going on about how how many times you can do the entertain now and what not well the, the problem with the entertain now is that it comes under SBTV mobile how can you check to see if you've done however many rounds well there is an actual easy way to do it click on your name click on my swag box and it brings you to your ledger if you actually notice here it's got <coughs> It says the word category and all. Did you know you can actually change it to do to change it by searching? See today I've got eight in searching and it actually tells you current searching there. Here's my SBTV mobile, which I did actually manage to max out today again. Current fifty. That is the most you can get for SBTV mobile. If you don't want it you the easiest way I found is just to look there on it. Um you can also do it with your SBTV special offers. See, I've got 45 points in uh, special offers just for today. Your tradings, your reward store, your swag codes, other, and so on and so forth. But that way you actually get to see how many you've done rather than having to look through your ledger about it. Um, Okay, now on to the final thing. No, I have not forgotten about you. Don't worry about it. Um, 
Where is it? Oh, great. I've got rid of the... Yeah, I'll show you him again. There is the cute laptop guy, as the uh, ladies like to call. Bay shirt, laptop, cup of coffee. I, I have made the joke of... The ladies were always calling it cute laptop guy, or laptop guy, John guy, um, whatnot. But when they were calling him cute laptop guy, why couldn't they ever put a, a picture with a girl on there so we could have cute laptop girl? You know, it was just an idea. I thought it'd be fun just to, like, you know, change it up from time to time. But I guess the, the the cute part has been dropped and he's just being known as Laptop Guy because, I don't know, maybe it's because I mentioned uh, the fact that, that he was getting named Cute all the time. Um, as you can see, I'm up to 897. Uh, naughty points, which I'm actually kind of proud of. Uh, I'm not doing as well as I expected. I did start off getting like 200 points a day, but I've been kind of slacking off with other things. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, yeah. Um, unfortunately, the comments got flagged right here. And Veggie Margie, I'm trying to remember what you were asking me to, to point out, but I think I do remember. And it was about the swag ward and how do you check if it's up there properly. Well, here you see that's. Monday through Friday, Swagbox uh, actually puts out a swag word on Twitter, and you can win yourself 25 Swagbox if it is retweeted. I actually have had it retweeted a couple of times, been retweeted a couple of times, and won 25 Swagbox. Um, here you see hashtag swag word, the word was torpid. The way that you do it is very, very simple. You take the swag word of the day, which of course I can't do it just now because this was on December the 13th which was Friday you would search the swag word and you get the definition torpid deprived of the power of motion or feeling uh, benumbed uh, dormant you just try and find out what the word means and then you use it in a sentence um, as you can see I'm not going to do my own one but um, Berry Sweet Bear puts uh, in their one, after four days in a row of Christmas shopping, we are torpid. Understandable. Yeah, put your feet up. That's pretty, pretty good. Well, how do you actually check to see and put it in properly? You can either click hashtag swag word or put it in here in the search option hashtag swag word and it brings you just like with uh, hashtag swag bucks games or SB games it brings you here you click on all and you'll see how people have been um, putting it in uh, from the game section uh, this is uh, Grimo at swag bucks um, the molasses flowing down the drain moved it to a torpid pace with hashtag swagword and your username. That's all you need to do. Remember to include at swagbox, hashtag swagword, your username, or well, not actually your, your username, but your swag name. As you can see, that um, Grimo's uh, Twitter name and his name on here are different than his swag name, so you always must include your swag name on there so that is just the easiest way to see it also you can check to see when you write a tweet I'm gonna actually have to go down quite an, a bit because it's actually been a while since I ha actually have tweeted in the swag word thing um, but here you can actually see from like previous ones, even like from today, my last tweet that I actually made was with uh, for hashtag Swagbox Games. That's basically how I would write it out at Swagbox. Little message. 
there I actually put the video in there but it would be like from yesterday there was when it got uploaded hashtag swagbox games and it goes in there um let's see you'll probably see the couple of names uh appearing there at the same time uh uh, Umbra Magister is Shadow Wolf, uh, very nice guy, got a lot of time for him, plays in the, uh, the game challenges, uh, we also have a little thing going, and uh, very, very nice young lady, Miss Judy Tally 2012, um, we have the, the little competition going to see who is king of, uh, king or stroke queen of Twitterverse, uh, by getting the code first, answering the question by entering the code into the swag code box first on uh, Thursday's Twitter trivia. Um, see, uh, do, 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 uh, yeah, you can see there I, uh, some of the jokes that I, I like to put in with her. We go back and forth all the time about it. Um, Maybe I should have used the search function. This is going to take me probably forever. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. I should have already had it up. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I've actually taken part in the Swag Ward. Even though I do look at it every single day, I just... I don't always get get the time or think of, like, a sentence because... It, it, it's, it's hard sometimes to think, how can I use that in a sentence and be different and interesting and... I just think, you know, I'll just leave it unless something really comes by that tickles my fancy. Um, I'm still looking, I'm still looking, I know. All these, uh... There's a Tuesday's Twitter phrase that pays, does it the exact same way. If you're ever wondering how to, I'll look it up to see if you've got it in there properly. You just would type in hashtag TTPTP and you can check to see if you actually put it in there. Here we go. Here is one that I put. Um, at Swagbuck Searching Day, got me an, an expedient six win on Mega Swagbox Day, hoping the hashtag swag Swagward will change that and my uh, swag name so that is that um, I think that was absolutely everything that I can think of for now um, I think I was going to do like the clearing of browsing data in a second thing um, you may also well maybe not have noticed but um, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. So uh, it's just one of the comments in there. Uh, S uh, KD322 is uh, a friend of mine, also on Twitter. I do follow her on Twitter, and she kind of follows me back. And I talk to her from time to time. She's a very, very nice young lady. I can, I can tell you that. Um, it was very nice to get a comment back from her. Uh, keep up all the good work, uh, Kitcha and Tammy K1967, Dream Destroyer and Thirteena. Yes, I do remember you from Bats vs Cats to being on the leaderboard. Uh, congrats to everyone, 306 points on, 346, 789, 589. Gotta remember, uh, people out there, it does not matter if you earn one point or if you are like Tammy K earning 5,063 points for the team. In total we have earned 4.3 million points for the team. It's a team effort. Be proud of yourself. I'm happy with my 897 points. I don't think that's going to change very much. Nope. 897 points still. If you've earned one point pat yourself on the back. If you've earned a thousand points, pat yourself on the back. 
keep up the good work. Um, does anyone know about the trial pay games? I don't really know about them because I never download the games. I don't like downloading the things because half the time they don't pay out. So that's my advice for that. Um, Anyway, if there are any more questions, they will probably come up and I will make another video about this. Oh yeah, there will be another video coming up because someone did actually send me a message about screen recorders, so I will make one for that too. Anyway, have a very good Sunday. If you're on the uh, West Coast, uh, good morning to, to you. If you're on the East Coast, um, good afternoon. If you're over in the UK, it's around dinner time. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday dinner. Um, I kind of missed it having a nice Sunday roast. If you're in Australia, it's probably going to be late in the evening. Um, maybe in the middle of the night. I'm not exactly too sure. I'm never too too sure with the, the, the time zones like farther away. I think it's like 15 hours, so it's probably going to be like 3 in the morning over there. So you guys will be getting up soon. Um, what can I say to our Australian uh, swagonauts if you're out there? I hope you guys pile on the pressure and, um, yeah, I'm going to be mean and say that uh, I'm not really a big uh, cricket fan, but it's good to see that you're trouncing England. So, anyway, have a good rest of the day, folks. I will get another video up about how to use screen recorder in a little bit.